Let's think about debug versus release and how to abstract the debug and release modes. The issue is that you really need two different index.html files, one for debug mode and the other for release mode. I don't want to be swapping out index.html files depending on what mode I'm in. I only want to change the mode from debug mode to release mode and I don't and I do that by simply changing the selected item in the solution configuration drop-down list. Let's address the question of why do we need two different index.html files? Because the release build should be bundled and the debug build should be unbundled. In the release build, we make a call to Angular's enable production mode. The debug mode should not make this call to enable production mode. The release build will be minified and we will remove all debugger statements. For debug purposes, the debug build cannot be minified. In the release build, we squash the components HTML and CSS into the component. In the debug build, it's faster to have the HTML and CSS outside of the components, where we can use a normal HTML and CSS editor. In the release build, we bump up the version number. In the debug build, it is not necessary to bump up the version number. In the release build, we will create an application manifest, which will allow us to perform offline. This is an extra step that is not necessary for running in debug mode and before we publish to the server. And one last thing to consider, the index.html file for the release mode is different than the index.html file for the debug mode. As you have seen from developing C Sharp, the debug build is much easier to debug than the release build. Well, guess what? TypeScript is no different. It will always be more productive to develop with debug build before creating a release build. In fact, I normally bind the process of creating a release build to a pre-commit Git hook. By doing it this way, the release build is created automatically every time I commit my changes and before I publish to the server. Then how do we request a different index.html file depending on the mode we're in? And how can we do this without using MVC? The answer again lives in the startup.cs. Here we can request a different default index.html file depending on whether we are in debug or release mode. And the router will automatically serve up the appropriate index.html file. In debug mode, our default HTML is declared in this line of code. But when I change to the release mode, it is declared in this line of code. Now there is no need to change the index.html, the URL, or anything except the solution configuration in order to serve up the appropriate index.html.